Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. Welcome to the update for Tuesday, June 30th, 2020. Got a free pick coming up in Tuesday morning Korean baseball. It goes at 5.30 a.m. Eastern, 2.30 a.m. Pacific. And uh, also wanted to mention, we'll get to that free pick in a moment, we've got a premium pick, one premium pick uh, for Tuesday morning's KBO card. It's available right now at DocSports.com. And if you want to jump on board, it'll be available till about 12.45 a.m. Eastern time over at DocSports. That's the time that the play will come down. Early morning Tuesday game, we went 4-0 last week, the 20th through the 27th in Korean baseball. Picked up about two dimes, $2,000 for those wagering $100 per unit. Uh, so we're hot, and we look to stay hot and win our fifth in a row. If you want to jump on board again, do so by about 12.45 a.m. Eastern. That's when the plays go down. That's a Tuesday morning Korean baseball six-star play. As far as everything else, I passed on Monday's uh, soccer slate. We'll be back on the pitch on Tuesday. I already looked ahead all the way through Wednesday's games. Uh, you know about our red hot run in soccer. We're up almost $2,700 for those wagering just $100 per unit on a run that started back around the second or third week of April. It's been over 70 days now, and we continue to uh, post these nice numbers in soccer. So my soccer plays for Tuesday will be posted on Tuesday at 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific time. We lost last time out here on the free pick report. We've had a phenomenal run in Korean baseball uh, this year in uh, with our free pick videos, but I did lose last time out, so let's get back on track. Real quick note, almost forgot to mention, uh, if you've yet to take advantage of that $60 free account, if you're not yet a member at DocSports.com, you can uh, just click on that link below the video, get yourself set up for a free $60 account, and then use those free $60 bucks on any of my daily packages or anybody else on the roster at DocSports.com. Real quick note also, when it comes to the NFL, Cam Newton signs with New England. I'm sure you heard about that already. Uh, as since Cam is going to be with the Patriots, we've seen the odds coming down a little bit. Uh, the Patriots have gone from nine juice under on their wins total for the upcoming season to nine juice on the over. Uh, we've seen their odds everywhere come down a little bit, including winning the division, winning the conference, winning the Super Bowl. Obviously, and we'll talk a little bit more about that over the next few days. And in Major League Baseball, going to shoot some videos on Thursday over at DocSports.com. Have those up by Thursday night. Some Major League baseball videos for the upcoming season, which begins, of course, on July 23rd. Can't wait to dive into that. Let's get to our free pick uh, for Tuesday morning. Again, it goes at 5.30 a.m. Eastern. We're going to back Kia on the runs line, laying a run and a half over Hanwha. And when I look at what Hanwha has been doing, obviously they've been just terrible all season long. Uh, they're bottom of the barrel. They're dead last 10th in every offensive category that we care about when it comes to handicapping baseball. They've got a guy by the name of Shiwa. Uh, Jang, who's going to be pitching in this particular matchup on Tuesday morning. And if you look at his earned runs allowed over his last couple of starts, doesn't look bad, but he's been lucky. His ERA in those two starts, 1.60. And uh, boy, I tell you what, when you look at what he's done on the season, you're talking about an ERA north of 6.2, a whip north of 2.0. And uh, I think he's going to have some problems here with Kia. As far as Kia is concerned, uh, we look at what they've got going in this particular matchup. you got Ki Young M on the mound for for Kia. He's been spectacular all season long. And if you look at what he's done or what they've done as a pitching staff uh, in general, talking about when M pitches and then when the bullpen comes in to relieve him in his starts, they've given up just 15 total runs in the last six games that he started. So I think they're going to continue to do well because they're going up against a, an offense that just can't hit the ball, can't score runs, talking about Hanwha. One more note as far as playing this on the runs line. If you're going to go against Hanwha, you might as well play the runs line against him and lay that run and a half. Here's the reason why. In their last 30 losses, Hanwha has lost 29 of those by two or more runs with an average loss in those 29 games, average margin of loss by over five runs per game. Again, in their last 30 defeats, 29 times they've lost by at least two runs. I think we're going to have to take advantage of this situation, jump on Kia. I think they'll get enough runs to support their pitching, and we're going to back up and lay the run and a half in this one. So we'll be on Kia over Hanwha on Tuesday morning. Don't forget about everything that's going on over at DocSports.com. We look to stay hot in uh, KBO action, soccer action, so don't miss out. I'm Scott Spritzer. If you like the videos, click on that thumbs up button and be sure to subscribe. We'll be right back here on Tuesday between 8 p.m. and 10 p.m. Eastern time. Let's put them in the win column on Tuesday.